Today, the Florida diver travels to Buford Sink in the Chassahowitzka Swamp. The first 20 minutes, you will find yourself on the bumpiest road you have ever been on. If you manage to not get lost on your drive through the forest, you're eventually going to come across a small parking area. The fun is just beginning as you start your 20 minute hike with all of your gear. I was so happy when I first seen the wooden boardwalk. I thought we were almost there. No, this thing just keeps going and going. This is a great opportunity to pass the load on to your buddy so you can rest during the last 10 miles, I mean minutes, of your hike. We change into our wetsuits and don our gear, excited to get in this beautiful water. We had been hearing about poor visibility the last few months, but after getting in, we were excited we came. I dump all the air in my jacket and have a nice descent down to about 40 feet. This is one of my favorite parts in diving when I get to just sink like a rock down to the bottom with very little effort. If you descend straight down, you're going to reach the bottom, which is in between 80 and 100 feet. From there, you have to start swimming horizontally into the cavern to descend further. At this point, I'm feeling a little unprepared. My video lights are just not lighting this place up good enough, so we decide we're gonna hang on the right side of the cavern. This place is dark, really, really dark. The rocks and walls of the cavern are intense. There are many openings and passages that I dare not enter. We explore the area for around 20 minutes, careful not to disturb any of the silt inhabiting most of the ledges. When we reached the bottom, we were at about 80 feet, and I remember turning around and thinking, holy shit, this place is huge, and I just did not want to get lost down there. We keep a watchful eye on our depth and make sure not to enter the cavern too far. This is our first time here with very little research. There's not much on the internet about this place. So that's why I felt it was important that we come and show what we learned from our trip. Even after two dives and nearly 45 minutes in this cavern, I still feel like I don't know it at all. This is definitely a location that I need to visit again. During our ascent, we stop for a last minute selfie before heading for the surface. This was a super challenging cavern to film, probably because of how dark it was and how ill-equipped I was. This helped me choose my next dive location, somewhere in the ocean. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you have a dive location that we should try out, leave it in the comments. See ya.